Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we've got the new Loungefly Grogu ears to review for you, so stay tuned. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody. <laughs> well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. A week or two ago, I did a video on new Grogu items that were available on Shop Disney. And one of those items was a pair of Grogu ears by Loungefly. So the Loungefly ears are here. We're going to give them a review for you. We're going to compare them to the other Disney Park Grogu ears. And of course, we'll rate them on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. Fisher, I'm going to put you to the side so I can show everybody the ears. Are you good with that? I'm good with that. All right, little dude. Boop. We will see you in a little bit. So you ready to see the ears, guys? Ah, look at them. They are super duper adorable. They're kind of a leather version of the ears that I wear in some of my videos. But the only thing I really, really dislike about Disney ears, guys, is this. You know, the CVS receipt size tag that they put on all of their stuff. So I'm actually going to cut the tags off of this. I know they say when you do that, it's no longer a licensed Disney product. But you know what? I don't care. I want to wear my ears without it looking like I've got, you know, a bunch of toilet paper streaming from my shoe. <laughs> but I'm going to leave this one on here. But definitely getting rid of those and of course getting rid of the Disney Parks tag that comes with it. So let me get those off and then I'm going to show you how they look. Well, there they are guys. So much better. I left this one on just because it says Star Wars and Loungefly on it. I may at some point get rid of that, but this I can tuck easily inside the headband. But let's get a look at them on. How super adorable are they guys? They are really cute and they're really comfortable so far, but I'm going to leave them on here while I'm doing the review of them. That way I can tell you in the next couple minutes if my head's like, nope, I'm done, or if these are actually a fantastic and comfortable pair of ears. Now the ears are a simulated leather design, which means they are not leather, but they're designed to look like leather. And they kind of have the feel of leather as well, but they're actually made out of PVC on the outside, which is polyvinyl chloride, I believe. You see PVC a lot, so they're vinyl on the outside. They're not washable, but I bet if you used a damp rag very carefully, they would clean up really easily for you. And take them off for a second, just so you can get an up-close look. They are like a brighter lime green. A lot of the other Grogu stuff is like a mint green color, but this one's actually more similar to the color of the Mattel the Child. And then it's got the peachy pink inside, which is kind of sewn in there. But yeah, look, looks like leather, guys. Definitely not. But it does look a lot like leather. Inside the ears, they are foam. There's no wires inside there. It's just the PVC material is keeping the shape for you. And then along the headband here, there's foam inside. And inside, there is a non-slip velour lining. And yeah, so far on my head, they haven't kind of slipped all over the place, which is pretty good. On the side, there is a Star Wars and Loungefly metal plate that's painted the same color as the ears themselves. So it's just, it's barely there. It's noticeable. You're like, hey, look, they're Loungefly ears, but they don't overpower the ears. So that's all you see beaming off of the side of your head. But again, I had these on for a couple minutes. Super, super comfortable. I could probably wear these in the park all day. The only thing I'm not really, really fond of on them besides that long, long tag, I don't like that this is so thick right here. I think that's kind of funky looking. But, you know, I could even do stuff with the hair to kind of cover that up. Yeah do a couple little different things and if you missed it yes guys I got my hair cut I got it chopped and yeah the video that that's yeah <laughs> check that out but it's so much more comfortable but you could do things with your hair in order to cover up that little I call it the Grogu bump <laughs> but it is it's soft and squishy and they're very very light they're not real heavy on your head and here's the real test guys if you're walking around Disney and you're kind of moving your head look at that 
I've got super, super clean hair at this point, and these are not moving anywhere. I think I might actually have to wear these to Disney the next time I go, because they are just so super fun. Maybe attach a little bow up here. That would be really cute. I don't know. We're planning a trip again in the semi near future probably in the next couple months so we'll have to see what I decide to do with that now the other pair of ears that you can get at Disney these I didn't see at Disney yet when I was there but in the parks they sell these guys I did a review on these when I first got them and these are kind of fun too but yeah the, the bump on that's even bigger guys look I got double Grogu ears but you can see color wise this is the mint green color I was talking about and then, yeah, the lounge fly are more of a Grogu green. I, I like this color better. But, and these are fun with the eyes. Price wise, they are a little bit different. The lounge fly ears are $39.99. These in the Disney parks are $29.99, and these are also available on Shop Disney if you ever wanted to grab a pair of those for yourself. The other pair of ears that they have in the parks, guys, you got Grogu with his little froggy. I did a review on this pair as well. He's such a cute little plushie. I love him. But if you want to walk around Disney with Grogu on your head all day, yeah, you could do that too. I could have Grogu with the froggy right in the middle of my ears, <laughs> but no, I, I probably will never ever wear this headband anywhere, but I had to have it just because it's so super cool. It does say the cutest bounty in the galaxy on the side of it, but $29.99 for each of these in the Disney parks. These I have not seen in the Disney parks yet. However, they could be coming, but they are available on Shop Disney. And again, cost on these is $39.99. Do I think it's worth it? Nah, they should have been $29.99 too, guys. They're not real leather. And yeah, this one, if you look really close at this ear, the, the foam inside, it doesn't, yeah, it needs to kind of spread out a little bit better. This one's good, but this ear's kind of funky, like it had been folded into a couple different places for a long period of time. Comfort-wise, yeah, they're, they're just totally the bomb, guys. These might be one of the most comfortable pairs of ears I've ever had. I kind of like them. But rating them on our scale of totally bad to totally rad... They're just a rad, guys. I know I like them, and I've been saying, oh, and I'm going to wear them, and this, that, and the other thing. They're just a rad, because there's more, you know, I had to cut the tag off. We've got the little Grogu bump. We've got the ear that's kind of misshapen, because it was probably folded in the box a funny way for a long time. But yeah, cute-wise, I don't know, guys. Do, do you agree with me? Are they a rad, or do you think they're a totally rad? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, thanks so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right? We'll see you later.